What's up, Summoners? My name is Nathan Ng, and I'm your host for our Korean builds for patch 12.17. This series covers the latest trending builds, innovation, as well as optimal solo queue strategies. I'll go over the builds for every role, so make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content like this, and let's get started. We'll begin with the top lane. Tankier Assassin builds continue to trend as they allow mobile high damage champions to play much more aggressively with fewer risks. That's why we're seeing a lot more Akali players take a hybrid build that incorporates plenty of defensive stats. First, I'll also note that players take Summoner Ignite for the extra kill power. Whatever damage is lost for building Tankier, you can make up with the true damage and healing reduction from Ignite. For her runes, you take Conqueror, Presence of Mind, Legend Tenacity, Last Stand, Demolish, Unflinching, Double Adaptive Force, and a defensive rune of choice. The combination of Unflinching and Legend Tenacity is disgusting. You're not only mobile, but you also have a harder time to be locked down. Point and click CC can pin Akali down, but with the help of some added tenacity, you can get away quickly with your E or W, since the duration of any enemy abilities would be lowered. For items, build Divine Sunderer, Sorcerer's Shoes, Demonic Embrace, Death Stance, Void Staff, and Rapid on Death Cap. Demonic Embrace, Death Stance, and Divine Sunderer provide you with plenty of defensive stats to deal with both AD and AP threats on the enemy team. This build is definitely not lacking in damage, and you still have enough damage to blow up squishies. Our next build is for Udyr. Recently reworked, I'm pretty sure you guys are curious to learn the new builds for him. While Sunfire Aegis and Going Full Tank is currently popular on him, our analysts have found a good number of Korean players are actually taking Rift Maker instead. The extra Omni Vamp and Ability Power work remarkably with Udyr's kit. That being said, this build is more of a carry type build, focusing on a combination of movement speed, defense, and of course damage. First his roots are Conqueror, Presence of Mind, Legend Tenacity, Last Stand, Demolish, Unflinching, Attack Speed, Adaptive Force, and a Defensive Rune. For items, purchase Rift Maker, Defensive Boots, Thorn Mail, Force of Nature, Blade of the Rune King, and Demonic Embrace. You'll have a decent amount of movement speed to work with in this build as you have a Blade of the Rune King as well as Force of Nature to aid you. The extra damage gained from Demonic Embrace, Blade of the Rune King, and Rift Maker adds up to quite a bit, making Udyr a powerful bruiser that demands respect. As Udyr is a new champion, if you're interested in learning him or learning how to counterplay him, we have some excellent coaches over at ProGuys.com that can help. Of course, we have specialists for all champions and all roles, so make sure you contact one of them if you want to improve fast. We'll put those builds up on the screen one more time for you as we finish up the top lane. That being said, let's move forward into the jungle next. For the jungle, the first build that we'll cover is for Elise. Again, Divine Sunderer is making its rounds. The extra damage, tankiness, and even sustain makes it a nearly universal item that any champion can take advantage of. That being said, this build also incorporates Ignite over Flash. As you're a bit tankier, you'll have less of a need for Flash, and the extra damage can help you pick up some early takedowns. Her runes are Conqueror, Triumph, Legend of Alacrity, Last Stand, Magical Footwear, Futures Market, Attack Speed, Adaptive Force, and Armor. For items, build Divine Sunderer, Sorcerer's Shoes, Demonic Embrace, Zanya's Hourglass, Void Staff, and Rabbit on Seth Cap. Demonic Embrace, Zanya's, and Sunderer make you quite tanky with this build, so you'll be able to look for picks and try to one-shot enemies with little risk. One of the oddest builds our analysts have found this patch is for Fiddle 6. It's a utility-focused build that makes use of his huge arsenal of crowd control. For his runes, you'll take Glacial Augment, Perfect Timing, Futures Market, Approach Velocity, Cheap Shot, Ultimate Hunter, Double Adaptive Force, and Armor. As you're able to apply AoE crowd control during fights, the value that you get from Glacial Augment is huge. In addition to the slow fields that you create, you'll also reduce the enemy damage output significantly, which can easily win your team a crucial fight. The items are Even Shroud, Sorcerer's Shoes, Zanya's Hourglass, Void Staff, Rapidon's Death Cap, and Shadow Flame. Again, taking Even Shroud makes the most out of Fiddle 6 powerful CC, increasing the damage your entire team deals against enemies. Since you can hit multiple enemies at once with a good ultimate, you're going to rack up some serious value with Even Shroud as well as Glacial Augment. That's it for the jungle, so put up those builds one more time for you. Save those, and let's move on to the mid lane builds next. For mid lane builds, let's start with Lucian's. He's back into building Lethality, and for a good reason. Short bursty trades are essential to mid lane success as a result of the shorter length. In addition, Lucian is a safe pick. His dash can be used defensively as well as offensively. Since he's able to deal so much damage in the early game, and also quickly, almost every mid laner struggles to keep up with him and his immense pressure. For runes, take Press the Attack, Presence of Mind, Legend of Alacrity, Coup de Grasse, Mana Flow Band, Gathering Storm, Attack Speed, Adaptive Force, and a Defensive Rune. Gathering Storm will ensure that the game does drag out. You'll scale up to essentially become a ranged assassin at some point. For the items, build Eclipse, Berserker's Greaves, Mana Mune, Maul Malmortius, Sorella's Grudge, and either Guardian Angel or Black Cleaver. With the sheer damage and armor penetration this build provides, you'll be able to burst down squishies with ease. 
It also provides an acceptable amount of defensive stats to make sure that you're able to survive divers. Before moving forward, let me ask you a question of the day. Now that we've had some time, do you think the durability changes from earlier this season have had a positive impact on the game? While I personally think that they've created some unintended effects like tanky assassins, well, they were played even before this patch, I think that having a little more time to react and outplay opponents has definitely helped the game feel healthier for a lot of champions. Let me know your answers in the comments down below and let's continue the video. We're also beginning to see Pantheon get picked more in the mid lane. Like Lucian, he's a tough one to beat. His raw damage is difficult to deal with, and he's able to soak up plenty of damage as well. On top of all of this, his point-and-click stun makes him notoriously great at setting up for ganks for his jungler. Give him too much respect, and the pressure will bleed over to the side lanes via roams or using his ultimate. For his runes, say Conqueror, Presence of Mind, Tenacity, Coup de Grasse, Second Wind, Demolish, Double Adaptive Force, and a Defensive Rune of Choice. His items are Umbral Glaive, Defensive Boots, Frostfire Gauntlet, Death Stance, Maul Mamordius, and Guardian Angel. Once again, we're seeing tankier builds utilized as fights are typically longer than before. However, you do want to build an Umbral Glaive early as it'll allow you to pressure the map heavily by denying any vision in your enemy's place. That covers the mid lane build, so as a recap, we'll throw them up on the screen one last time for you. Next, let's talk about the bottom lane. In the bottom lane, our first build is for Nico. ADC Nico is still gaining traction for good reason. She's able to peel for herself and deal a solid amount of hybrid damage. It's worth noting that she also runs exhaust to make it even harder for the enemy divers. For runes, take Lethal Tempo, Presence of Mind, Legend Alacrity, Coup de Grasse, Second Wind or Bone Plating, Overgrowth, Attack Speed, Adaptive Force, and a Defensive Rune of Choice. Joining the bottom lane is Support Zack. Like the Fiddle's sick build that we mentioned earlier, he's going to be dipping into Glacial Augment and Everfrost for some insane teamfighting value with this endless amount of CC. For runes, take Glacial Augment, Perfect Timing, Futures Market, Cosmic Insight, Triumph, Coup de Grasse, Ability Haste, Adaptive Force, and a Defensive Rune of Choice. The items are Relic Shield, Everfrost, Defensive Boots, Zanya's Hourglass, Force of Nature, and Thorn Mail. That covers the bottom lane builds, so we'll recap them on the screen for you guys right now. Finally, we'll conclude with the duo. A duo that's gaining popularity is Kale and Kindred. These two carries have two things in common, the ability to avoid death and insane damage. And what seems like limitless scaling, these two characters can literally 2 versus 5 any situation with enough of a lead. Since they can also avoid death, they're able to make most of their insane DPS even in the most dire of situations. For Kale's runes take Lethal Tempo, Presence of Mind, Legend Alacrity, Coup de Grasse, Second Wind or Bone Plating, Demolish, Attack Speed, Adaptive Force, and a Defensive Rune of Choice. Her items are Blade of the Ruined King, Berserker's Greaves, Frostfire Gauntlet, Wit's End, Nasher's Tooth, and Rabidon's Death Cap. Even Kale is taking Frostfire Gauntlet for some extra durability, but also because of the slow, which immensely adds to her and Kindred's DPS. Kindred's runes are Press the Attack, Presence of Mind, Legend Alacrity, Coup de Grasse, Attack Speed, Adaptive Force, and Armor. Her items are Divine Sunderer, Berserker's Greaves, Blade of the Rune King, Black Cleaver, Wit's End, and Death Stance. That covers the build, so we'll put those up on the screen one more time. So take notes. With all of those done, we've concluded our Korean builds for patch 12.17. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. And also feel free to join our Discord server. You can find the link in the description. Take care everybody, best of luck in your games, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.